Federico A. Estefano Memorial High School proudly presents the Yans of Paraland Program 2022. Humanity as we know it dawned its existence in a garden, a place of abundance and peace invoking shade. For thousands of years, we humans have been inspired by that utopian place that we even tried to somehow replicate. This only proves that we have this innate desire to make and grow our own Eden. Federico A. Stepano Memorial High School, a an institution that promotes lifelong and valuable learning, adheres to the department's mandate to implement the Tulayan Paralan program. With this, the school, with the aid of its stakeholders, has conjoined in enabling this project to come to existence. An unimaginable number of hours, a droplet of sweat, and a heap of finances to say the least, began pouring like rain in a day. Donations came and parents, although already overflowing with responsibilities at home, responded to our call. The municipal mayor, school principal, and OIT assistant principal GPP coordinator, teaching and non-teaching staff, parents, students, and other members of the community render their full service and support for the program. All of this are just to accomplish one goal, to grow a gulayan for the school and its stakeholders. A total of 950 square meters of land has been utilized as the GPP area for Federico A. Stipona Memorial High School. A variety of crops have been planted and were categorized to fruit, leafy, root, indigenous vegetables, and indigenous herbal plants. The plants sowed are tomato, eggplant, papaya, silk squash, okra, bitter gourd, chili pepper, sweet potato, lettuce, saluyot, peanut, garlic, turnip, kajos, mungbin, lemongrass, calamansi, serpentina, ginger, mugwort, and many others. Our school GPP also utilize other materials to contain fruits and vegetables. And these are the following. Styro boxes, plastic containers, used shoes, bags, and jeans, pet bottles, TV monitors, used tires. The school also made use of trellis, organic mulch, or fertilizer, and employed botanical plants as insect pest repellent. It also could use plant extract materials for pesticide pest control devices such as tractant, insect sticker trap, live trap. One of the benefits of having a gulayan at school is that it will provide us with freshly picked greens for our local feeding program. The school's way of giving back to the community, specifically to its young ones, by serving them nutritious meals that will go a long way in ensuring that their nutritional needs are met. A total of 47 nutritionally depressed school children were supported under Gulayan Saparalan. Some of the foods prepared for the children from November to December 2021 included arroz caldo, sandwich, and tangla juice. Other vegetables such as ampalaya, pecha, broccoli, kangkong, and eggplant, to name a few, were distributed to the children from January to February. A sustainability plan has been crafted to promote economic, ecological, and social sustainability. Moreover, to give technical assistance to teachers in the application of know-how skills in GPP, and to provide continuous supply of nutritious food to learners under the feeding program or SPF. Also, a five-year budgetary requirement has been proposed. I am happy that for this year, this is already our second year of joining in the Division GPP competition. This is made possible because of the help of the many people just like our municipal mayor, that is why we were able to improve a certain center there which is now being used as multi-purpose hall. You can really visit because anytime we can showcase, it's really a continued project from since we started last year. So welcome, you may now visit our Gulayan Sapaaralan. The trust and confidence given to me as the Gulayan Sapaaralan program coordinator 
pushed me to take the responsibility to hold such opportunity. Truly, it provides that being united is a vital ingredient to have a strong and good result in all fields of industry. What are the other things that can be seen in our Gulayansa Paralam program? In every institution, innovation is a manifestation of growth just like in the Department of Education. As part of the Gulayansa Paralam project, some innovations were made. One of these is making an improvised insect-like trap made out of container, cement, plastic bottle, and a solar-like box. Another is mushroom food, use of insulator, hydroponics, and aquaponics. The school is an institution of hope and a stature of beneficial traits and values to the community from here on. By portraying to the community how valuable it is to grow their own garden, they will in turn begin tilling their soil and reap its fruits. A haven for indigenous plants that clearly can be seen in one's backyards nowadays. An ecosystem where an indeterminable number of living things can live and thrive. A natural display of greenery where spectators can appreciate the wonders of nature. A picturesque background to mesmerize one's troubled heart and mind. This is where different minds congregate together to achieve one goal. And that same goal is the root that turned this man-made garden into a reality. This is Federico A. Stipona Memorial High School's interpretation of the Lost Garden of Eden. Our very own Layan Safaralan.